Hi, this is Anthony with a review on the DVD video converter from Wonderfox. This video converter is from a company called Video Converter Factory and they have many video products like the DVD video converter, the HD video converter, the DVD ripper, photo watermark and many others. You can visit this website to download a free version of the DVD video converter and you'll find the link in the description section. Now before I proceed, I'd like to add that I've had no issues with the download. It seems safe and uh, as confirmed by the Northern Security Scan of the download. Once at the download page, just click on the download button and follow the instructions. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to download and install DVD Video Converter, you can check this video. This is what the user interface looks like, a very simplistic design. You can almost call it old school but I like a simplistic design. Right up top you can add video files to convert, download online videos from YouTube for example, or rip a DVD. Let's start off by downloading an online video. So this is a Creative Commons video on YouTube and to download the video you just click on this download video link on top and you will see this dialog box. Enter the video URL in this box and click Analyze. Once it's finalized analyzing the video, you will see these various options for download. Essentially just choose one of the options and then click the download button. The duration of the download process will depend on the length and the quality of your video. Uh, short videos take um, less than one minute to download based on my experience. Okay, so while I'm here and I have this video downloaded, I uh, just want to talk about a couple of things. First of all, uh, if you hover your mouse over this um, the video, you will notice that there's a display button and if you click on it, it will play the video. So essentially, there is a built-in video player in one Fox uh, DVD video converter. This of course is a very short video, but uh, you get the point. Also the second thing I'd like to mention is that if you, you'll notice this edit button here and if you click on it, it will allow you to edit the video. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it comes with a built-in video editor. Again, it's not, it's a, it's a very basic video editor. As you can see, it all only allows you to uh, trim the video from uh, at the beginning at the end. And um, when you load the video uh, on the left side, you can notice here is the original preview and then any changes that you've made to the video would show up on the right side here. Also down below you'll notice here that there are some filters. So for example if I want to blur the video I would click on the blur filter. But as you can see it only blurs it a little. Um, that's all you can do. Uh, I would have hoped that they would have introduced like a slide or something that allows you to blur it even more so you could change the intensity of the blur. Uh, similarly here if you want to add some noise to the video you could do that but if you want to increase the intensity of that noise you cannot. Uh, similarly here you can pixelate it but you get the point. Uh, down below here uh, you can also flip the video horizontally or vertically and also you can rotate the, the video uh, 90 degrees and if you want to take a still picture of a specific frame you can do that but that's pretty much it in terms of the video editor again this is not built to be a video editor and that's why it's called DVD video converter the other thing you can do with uh, Wonderfox DVD video converter is obviously convert videos so for example this one that I have here is mp4 format and if I want to convert it let's just say to MOV I would go here to this drop down and uh, choose the appropriate format. For example, you'll notice there are a whole bunch of tabs under the video tab. You've got these are standard definition ones and as you can see there are a whole bunch of uh, formats here and if I want to go to the HD format files here, these are the formats AVR, MP4, MOV. Uh, also you've got ones for the web specifically like for example for YouTube, Facebook, HTML5 and uh, a whole bunch of ones for the mobile devices like Apple, Samsung, HTC, Blackberry and a whole bunch of others. So that's the way you essentially just choose uh, the format that you want to convert it to and then once you do that uh, you just click run and it's going to just convert the video. Finally let's talk about ripping DVDs. Now let me just clarify, when I say ripping DVDs, I don't mean to say DVD piracy. I'm referring to making backups of your DVD collection and digitalizing them. 
Okay, so in order to rip a DVD, you load the DVD in your computer drive and then click on the load DVD link on top and then it will load the DVD and then you essentially choose the appropriate files. You can click the settings link to change the video and audio settings. Choose an output format and then click run. It will then begin the process of analyzing the file and start the ripping process and the status will change to done once it's completed the ripping process. In my case it took a couple of hours to rip a 106 minute DVD. The free trial version has limitations in terms of number of files and duration so if you find this useful you may get a discounted price for a limited time during a trial period. You may also get DVD video converter with a lifetime license for a limited uh, time. Also, Wonderfox occasionally runs giveaway campaigns and you can get it for free. So check the link in the description section. Hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you've got any questions. And as always, thanks for stopping by.